Hi everyone, I have teamed up with Legal and General again uh, to bring you some health and safety tips for babies and toddlers when you're in and around the home. Now some of these you might not have thought about before, um, if you're anything like me that is, uh, and it's much better to be aware of them so you don't have to learn the hard way. As a teenager and a young adult, health and safety were pretty much two irritating words that didn't have much meaning to me. Uh, I wouldn't really give risk a second thought, but since becoming a dad, you know, my senses have become heightened and now I'm like very aware of every kind of lurking danger you see in and around the house. And there are loads. I mean, just simply get down to like a, a, a crawling baby's level and crawl around the house. Around the home, there are so many things to put fingers in, things to hit their heads on, things to fall over, things to fall off of. It's, it, you know, the house is a minefield of dangers. So as I said, we've teamed up with Legal and General to bring you some health and safety hacks to make sure that your home is as safe as it possibly can be for your baby or your toddler. Number one, locking the medicines away. Now this sounds daft, but actually when you have a baby, you know, the amount of medicine you end up with is colossal, you know, bottles of cowpole here and ibuprofen here and I've seen a fab new product which is essentially like a lock box um, that's kind of child proof and you can put all your medicines into it and then on the front it has like a, a, like a um, timer that you program to when you give your medicine to your baby and then it tells you the intervals when you can next administer the medicine so you don't have to worry about whether or not you've given uh, the cow pole within four hours or whether it hasn't been four hours or whatever it times it for you. Number two, stair gate. Now obviously the stairs in any house cause a great hazard for toddlers who are crawling or toddlers who are kind of learning to walk and a little bit unsteady on their feet. Now Ted is quite steady on his feet but he still on occasions will fall down the step or whatever and I'd rather him get stop by a stair gate then him roll down the entire stairs. So we've got one at the top and we've got one at the bottom. And if nothing else, it actually is really useful to keep the toddler, keep Ted in one section of the house, either upstairs or downstairs. Number three, baby first aid classes. Now, if you're anything like me and your baby was to choke or your toddler was to choke, I wouldn't have the first clue what to do. So. Going on a baby first aid course can give you some tools and some tips that are essentially life-saving. Number four, never leave water in the bath. Now, I bath Ted every single night. We get in, we get out, but actually I've forgotten to empty the bath. Now, if he were to go back into the bathroom, climb over the edge, which is, is perfectly feasible for him, fall in, bang his head, it only takes a couple of minutes for him to drown, and it only takes two inches of water. It's a massive hazard. Just empty the bath before you get out of it. Number five, windows. So remove anything that could be used as a ladder from underneath the windows. Number six, blind cords. Now you get those roller blinds or you get the Venetian blinds or whatever and they all have like a pull cord that you pull to roll them up and put them down and blah, blah, blah. Those cords are pretty dangerous because baby could swing on them, they could pull on them, they could get tangled up, they could even get them wrapped around their neck. Massive hazard, but it can be so easily avoided. And lastly, number seven, sharp edges. Now, Ted charges around the house at 100 miles an hour for 10 hours a day. His head is going to hit it at some point, I am sure of it. But when it does, I would much rather it hit a soft rubbery corner than a sharp one. And you can get these like rubber bits that you whack on the corner, job done. So from me at the Dad Network TV and Legal in general, I hope that you have found some of those tips really useful. As soon as you finish watching, go and baby proof your home. Go. Go now. Oh, I have found a fabulous way of making sure that we are safe in and around the house. And guess what? I've got one for Ted as well. <laughs>